Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming in the living room because it's just me today. And also the lighting in here is sick. Like we've got these two windows and the light just booms in. So fantastic. Today I am bringing you the final video from my Black Friday haul week. So it's Sunday today and we've got a naked fashion haul. As you can tell, I've already opened the parcel. Again, as per my usual Naked Fashion videos, this is very kindly in collaboration with Naked Fashion. They have sent me a lot of things this time and I am so, so grateful. I do have a discount code, which I will pop in the description below. I think it's a decent amount as well, so definitely check it out. We have about 10 pieces to go through today. We do have lots of winter essentials. I also have some work bits as well. Naked Fashion are honestly so, so good for basics, work pieces. Like I get loads of my formal trousers and everything from them. So yeah, we're just going to get on with it. I do have, I mean, this is a bit of a pathetic candle, isn't it? But I do have a few candles lit around me to get in, to get in the mood, you know, get in the mood for filming. First of all, I'm going to start off with a midi dress. You guys know I love a midi dress so much. This one's actually really, really similar to one of the dresses I picked up in one of my recent Zara hauls, which I will leave up here. Not the one that's just gone, but the one before that. So I'll link it above just in case you guys did want to check it out. But basically it's a tank style, high neck, black ribbed midi dress. She's quite lengthy as well, which is maybe not the best thing because I'm like five foot three. And she also has a slit at the bottom, which is really cute. So you can show a little bit of leg off. The material is really, really nice to be honest. It's super soft, it's ribbed as I said, and it's stretchy too. So got to love that. The only thing I will say is I wish it was a little bit more kind of sucky in. It's not very sucky in at all. It's going to be literally such a good layering piece. I love wearing a midi dress with a trench coat as you'll probably see on the try and haul and then some boots or something. So yeah, really excited about this. It's definitely, as I said, a great winter layering piece because you can just chuck on as much over the top as you want. You could even chuck on a jumper and it would look like a midi skirt. Chuck some boots on, have a scarf on, you're good to go. Christmas market vibes, here we come. Now, the next thing I picked up is also black, shocker. Um, it is a beanie and I don't know if a beanie will suit me. I did try it on earlier. Hold on. Oh my God, no, what the hell is that from the side? Maybe not from the side, from the front. Is she cute? Um, hmm, hmm maybe not. Look at my hair now. I'm sure I can find someone to give it to who it will suit a little bit more. What the hell is wrong with my hair now? Better. One of the main reasons I picked up this particular one is because it's from the Sustainable Choice collection. Most of the pieces in here are actually from that collection just because it makes me feel a little bit less guilty about buying loads of clothes. I think in particular, this is made from recycled bottles. So you're actually helping the planet. And I know you're thinking, oh, it's a sustainable brand, but they're sending it in loads of plastic. She's recyclable. Next thing I picked up is a little bit different for me. It's basically a denim dress. It's white, as you can tell. It's got a collar, but I wouldn't wear it done up. It's long sleeve. It's got buttons and pockets, kind of cargo -y style. And then it's belted as well. So it is a midi, no, it's a mini dress, M-I-N-I. -I. But she could be a vibe, do you know what I mean? Maybe not necessarily in winter, but this is the sort of thing that I would quite happily prance around in in spring. I don't know why I said prance, but I'll be prancing around in Paris soon. So this could definitely be a vibe. The material on this is actually really, really thick. Like it's quite heavy duty, which is exactly what you'd expect to be honest from a denim dress. Do you know what I mean? Is it denim? I mean, I would say it's denim, but it's just like white denim, if that's even a thing. All the buttons on the front are metal. I really cannot stand things that have like cheap plastic buttons. Obviously blazers and stuff, it's a bit of a different story, but it still kind of gives me the ick a little bit. So really happy about this. And the fact that it has a belt as well is such a plus because it just gives you so much more shape. Like you can cinch yourself in, or you could just wear it loose, it's completely up to you. But me personally, I would kind of, I've not done that in ages, have I? <laughs> I would the waist in. Next thing I picked up is this black bralette here. Now, I do have the white one as well, and I've literally worn it to death. It's definitely my favorite bralette ever. The quality is amazing. It's got this 
thick elasticated band at the bottom as well. So it really does give your boobs a little bit of a lift while still being really comfy because it doesn't have any sort of wiring in it at all. This is the sort of thing that I would wear under a like white shirt, something like that. Um, and of course, they do have it kind of adjustable at the back just with the three, what do you call it? Three fastenings to make it as tight as you want. It's also adjustable on the straps as well. So a fully adjustable bralette, does it actually get any better than that? Excited for her. Okay, I've then got a black blazer. Um, I know what you're thinking, Jess, you don't need any more blazers, but I don't have any black ones at all. The only black one that I've been wearing to work and stuff is Myers, so I thought I'd pick up a black one. I did pick this up in a 10, just because I did want it to be quite oversized, and it is, to be honest. It's one of those open blazers, so it doesn't have a button around the front, but because I did get it oversized, I think if I belted it and wore cycling shorts underneath, I think I'd be absolutely fine to wear it as like a blazer dress as well. But I mainly needed it for work, to be honest, because in winter, I tend to only wear black and the odd bit of beige to work. All my like nice pink, green, blue suits have to stay on the hanger waiting for summer. So really excited about this. It is amazing quality as well. And I think they're about 32 pounds, something like that. Definitely really, really good on pricing compared to Zara as well, because lots of Zara ones that I've picked up in the past have been like 80 quid. And quality wise, this is just as good. It does just like the button, but you could quite easily sew one on if you did want one. But as I said, I'm just gonna be wearing this open. Next up, I picked up this beige shirt here. Quite a simple beige shirt. It's got these open sleeves as well, which I do think is really, really cool. It's just a little bit different, isn't it? Because they're not buttoned like your standard shirt is. And then to make it even more different, down the bottom here, this is the front, you've got this like adjustable part. So you could actually have the shirt completely open and then just tie it around yourself a few times. That would be a completely different style to, you know, your standard shirt. Or you could even just use it to crop it and, you know, make it sit quite nicely, like just below your boobs really, so that it's cropped and cute. I just really like a versatile piece like this that you can wear in a load of different ways. It is quite beige actually, like it's a darker beige than I was expecting, but probably goes a little bit better with my hair because I don't like it when it matches my hair color. Exactly, do you know what I mean? So yeah, really nice. It's just like a standard shirt material, but it's quite thick, I won't lie to you, which is really, really nice. It has a single pocket on the front as well, which she cute. She cute. So this piece I picked up because it could be up there with one of my potential birthday dresses. I am gonna do a video, I think it's in, it could, be, it could be next week's video actually, but I've not actually thought about filming it yet. I am having my 21st birthday soon. Woo. So I really want to get like the perfect dress and I need a few different outfits to be fair as well because I'm going all out. But this dress here, I don't know if you'll really be able to see until I put it on, but it's got like a sweetheart neckline and it kind of plunges down a little bit. It then also has these big puff sleeves as well, which just makes it feel like that a little bit more flamboyant, which is so necessary in a birthday dress, let's be honest. The straps, I've just been able to tell you can remove because she slipped off. You can literally reattach them as easy as that, so it's literally perfect. And then it kind of goes bodycon from like the chest down, which I really, really like. And if you were worried about the quality for one second, let me reassure you, it is so thick. It's double, triple, quadruple lined, God knows. And it's also got that like sticky, sticky bit. I don't know what you'd call it, like to keep the sweetheart bit from falling down. Obviously it'd be fine if you were wearing it with the straps up, but if you're wearing it strapless, you do need something to kind of stick to your skin a little bit and this will do just that. So I'm really excited to see this, but yeah, she's cute. She also has a zip down the side as well. Next up, I picked up a black high neck, turtleneck, whatever you want to call it, top. This is very basic, very plain, but these are such essentials at work as well. This is slightly thinner than my other one. My other one's quite like a thick knitted one. And sometimes it gets really hot when you're like running around from A to B. So to have something that's not super, super thick is actually really good. It's just like a top, really. The sleeves are a little bit cut off as well. I'd say they're more like three quarter lengths, but I really, really like that. Okay, next thing I picked up is this little black crop top. I can see you here. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I don't remember ordering this, but I'm so, so happy it's arrived. 
The rib on this is so thick, it's really stretchy. It's one of those pieces that like will really hold you in. So I absolutely love that. Again, it's another sustainable choice, which I'm really happy about. The only thing I will say is, don't the straps seem really, really long? But I'm sure it'll be fine. I might just have to pull it down at the back a little bit so it's not like gaping over my titties. But realistically, you can never have enough basic tops, says the basic queen. <laughs> Finally, I picked up this is another work dress, to be honest. It's just a square neck, padded shoulder, like midi dress. I'd probably chuck the blazer on over the top of this as well. It's probably not the most interesting thing for you because as I said, it is for work. This is a really, really thick like jersey material. Go neck. We good. When I put it in my basket, I was a little bit apprehensive about it. I didn't know if it was gonna be the best quality at all, um, but it's actually really good. Like the shoulder pads in it are really thick too. The only thing I would say is I wish they were kind of sewn in place a little bit more because look, they just, they pop out. They're still like sewn into the dress, so it's absolutely fine, but um, they might like slip out. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see when I try it on. But yeah, as I was saying about the material, it's really, really thick. It's super stretchy as well. If you weren't wearing this to work, you, pro you could probably wear it without a bra as well because it is just that kind of dress. Um, but yeah, really, really happy with that. So that is it for this Black Friday week, haul week. I hope you've enjoyed it. I think I've chosen a few different brands. Like, Misguided is very different from Naked Fashion, and equally, Zara is quite different from Naked Fashion as well. So I've tried to go, like, across the board, just to give you a little bit of different fashion inspo. But, yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I really hope you've enjoyed Black Friday haul week. I hope you've bought yourself some goodies as well. And I will see you in next week's video. Bye!